What up, man? About to do some random booking. You ready for this? I forgot who I who's who's champ. <laughs> so I got a single title right now. Nakamura was the first champ. Oh yeah, he lost it to Barack. Let's try to get a number one contender. What do you think? All right. Makes her Mr. Judgments. This is gonna be in the big arena, the big garden arena. All right. You wish for this. Jinder versus Roman Reigns to start off the tournament to determine who will go and face Brock Lesnar. I can't even do Jinder's song. The Jinder song. <laughs> Oh no, I'm in the way. I should have been on the right. I should have put myself on the right. And the big dog. Will the big dog hinder gender? <laughs> it even says it in the nickname, the big dog. What's his taunt? Was he smiling around or looking? What the fuck was that? All right, let's see how this goes. And the big dog, <laughs> starting off with a massive clothesline. Oh, but Jin is answering back. He's trying to prove that this this push he's receiving is not a fluke. Oh, with a nice sleeper backdrop type situation. Nice fireman carry toss situation thing. I just I just realized I'm probably gonna fuck up a lot of these um a lot of these holds. What is this? Woman reigns with a submission that's not a headlock? I wanna <laughs> And the camel clutch! Well isn't that Rusev's move? What gender doing Rusev's move for? With the Irish rip to the and with a big Samoan drop into the corner, the big dog establishing Momo. Just as I say that, <laughs> Roman Reigns is starting to. Oh, what the a turn of events! Gender has bloodied Roman Reigns. Two minutes into the match, I would not. I never have, but I think that that would have happened. Shiggy baby, you're right. I did not think that Jinder was gonna bring the fight to Roman like he did, but two like two minutes into the match and Jinder freaking opens him up the hard way. Oh, brings him down with a headlock, applying more pressure to that bloody head of Roman. Another headlock to bring him down. He's really working on that head. He's basically he smells the blood. He's acting like a an Indian shark. Oh, massive power bomb. Oh, but reverses it into a pin. Oh, now they're going blow for blow. Who's gonna get the upper hand at the end of this exchange? And Jinder does all, but he ex he exhausted all of his energy. Four minutes in, these guys are really going hard right now. Roman with the first pin attempt and then didn't even garner a one pound and headbutts you would think that he wouldn't go for headbutts after yeah, being blood oh with the spear oh, what one, two. oh with a two count i thought that was it with the random spear out of nowhere on gender but gender is still alive another power bomb hard power bomb oh but I, again with the reversal gender seems to have that sorted out but now Jinder's... Oh, it looked like Rain was about to... Reigns was about to go for the... The spear. Oh, again, another power bomb? Oh, no. Outsider's Edge? Outsider's Edge into a power bomb. Roman Reigns bringing out moves that I never I never thought he had. Arm drag. Road break at the thing. Yeah, I was about to say, that it's way too close to the... Rep took way too long for the road break. Oh! Roman Reigns throws Jinder outside. Looks he's trying to regain his composure after being bloodied. 
six, seven. But we are doing 20 eight, count eight, rules. So it looks like Reigns was trying to take an opportunity, gather himself on the outside, trying to come back. I did not think that I would see Jinder giving him, giving Big Dog this much of an issue. Oh, Jinder not playing nice with the Big Dog's big situation. Well, I, that was, that was a statement I wish I did not make. Oh, a nice delayed type rock bottom choke slam type situation. Ginger's doing a hell of a lot better. I, I mean, a lot, a hell of a lot better than I thought he would. When you told me when uh, when Killbox suggested me uh, booking him against Roman Reigns, I thought this was going to be a squash. But Ginger's Ginger's trying not to get hindered. Oh, headbutts again. I don't think Roman remembers that he has bloodied head. You did. You were. Oh, Superman punch. Gender just, just eats it. Doesn't even care. Gets right back up. We're coming up on the 10 minute mark and both wrestlers, both superstars exhausting their energy. With more headbutts. I don't, I, I don't know if Roman Reigns understand that that's not what you do when you're bloodied ten minutes gone. and you hear the uh, the announcer saying 10 minutes have already passed in this contest like I said gender lasting a lot longer than I thought he would have oh I thought that was a low blow but it wasn't just a straight punch to the gut nothing scientific or flashy about that just straight to the point what the heck? Jinder goes down after a, sh a chest hit. Roman Reigns just seems like he's just trying to regain his composure. I mean, the fact that he's lasting this long after being bloody two minutes into the match. Oh, straight punch to the face. Almost reminded me of Big Show's... What is it? What does he call that? The weapon of mass destruction whenever he punches someone. neck breaker Jinder's, Jinder's really impressing me in this in this in this fight right now oh that was a very interesting move right there I can't even I don't even know what that was it looks like he's picking up for a vertical suplex and then sort of turned it into like a weird side slam of some sort Can you imagine if Roman Reigns taps out to Jinder Mahal? Can you imagine? Again with the camel clutch. And the big dog showing resilience. Not having it. Oh, going blow for blow again. Oh, Jinder. Yeah, Jinder, sorry, Roman Reigns digging in deep to come out on top in that exchange but he had to gather himself still couldn't capitalize on it Jinder's going right back to the head like I said he smells blood blood in the water and he's going after that I don't even know Jinder's finisher's name to be honest now that I think about it Oh, again with the camo clutch at the 15 minute mark. Oh, just drops the knee right into the back of the head of Roman Reigns. He's, he's just systematically destroying Roman Reigns right now. I don't even know. I don't even know right now. I, I don't know if he's going to come back from this. I don't, not with the, I don't know where the arm, uh, arm bar just twisting that arm back Jinder Mahal with an excellent showing right now towards Roman Reigns rope break that's yeah definitely a rope break for that for that pinfall it was just too close to the ropes uh, Jinder Mahal I think going for another pin not gonna make the same music no he's gonna inflict more pain on that he's gonna make sure that 
that gash to the head opens up even more. And of course, this not being WWE, the ref does not even care. Not putting in those gloves. Not putting in those gloves that they always put on. Roman Reigns just hasn't been able to get any momentum going. Oh, another straight punch to the gut. And then does some fancy flippy flip to get into a... Oh. I, I just don't think Roman Reigns has much in him. There's... Is he going to tap? Roman Reigns is showing resilience. I'm going to... If he taps out, I'm going to be severely freaking shocked. Another camel clutch. He's just... He... Jinder wants to bring it home with the camel clutch. Oh. Just straight elbow to the back of the head. And again, another... Jinder has to make sure... Has to be a mindful of where he's pinning Roman. It's way too close. Again, this is about the, fir the fourth pin he's done next to the rope. Was that his finisher? I don't even know. No, he picks him up. I, like I said, I don't even know Jinder's finisher. Roman Reigns with an elbow to the head trying to... He can't even gather. He can't even... Neckbreaker. He can't even follow up with his reversals. Roman Reigns. Days on his feet. Due to Jinder Mahal's assault, I never thought I would say this sentence. 20 minute mark, and of course, there is no time limit on these matches. And again, this is these, these gentlemen are fighting to move on in the tournament for the right to face Brock Lesnar for the world title. Roman Reigns with an outsider's powerbomb, sit down powerbomb situation again. Headbutts again. I'm not sure how effective that is when you have a busted head and you've been work you've had your head worked on this whole match. Oh! Jinder Mahal. Again! The camel clutch! The, the modern Maharaja! Just bringing it to the big dog. German suplex into the corner! I'm not sure, but it looks like Jinder hit his back of the head on that corner. But he's able to get up and recover. They're going blow for blow one more time. And at this point, I'm, I, I've turned around and made the statement that I'm shocked that Roman Reigns is still in this. He's absorbed a hell out of a lot of damage. And going right back with the headbutts. At this point, I think the men are just defaulting. They're just defaulting. They're just trying to it's put each other away. With another sleeper black drop situation. One two oh my god a two count roman reigns throwing jinder mahal outside creating some space trying to regather himself the goliath goliath that's what he calls his finisher oh another straight punch just to the stomach i mean these two men at this point are exhausted and this is only the first round of the tournament Outsiders powerbomb situation. One, two. Oh my god, Roman Reigns comes back with a shock victory after Jinder Mahal absolutely just, oh my god, with a match evaluation of 100%. Wow. I am shocked that Roman Reigns was able to come back with that, come back and <laughs> win. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Killbox. Jinder has been hindered. And the big dog pulls out the win. <laughs> oh my god. So as you see Roman Reigns advances to the to the next to the quarterfinals, I wanna say. And we're gonna keep it going with AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Oh man, AJ Styles, the phenomenal one, the face that runs the place, making his way to the ring, following up. As you see, every, they managed to get the the blood off the mat cleaned up from Roman Reigns. He's gonna have to get stitched up in the back. We're gonna see. I don't, I don't know if this tournament's gonna 
finish out. We're gonna finish this out. But the king of strong style making his way to the ring. Now this, this is a match. Yeah, man. I gender did a hell of a lot better than I thought. I'm still, I'm still shocked by that match. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be even more hyped about this. The two men swinging at each other, trying to connect, trying to test out the distance. Arm drag. AJ trying to isolate Nakamura into the corner, but Nakamura moves away. Ooh, big body slam. To the ropes. Ooh. Sending head scissors. Sending Nakamura to the outside. Oh. With a nice uppercut to the face. Nakamura with the reverse. Now these two have had battles in Japan. They have yet to battle in that WWE, but you're going to see it here. Oh, with the suplex causing him to go outside. The battle goes to the outside. No man able to... Oh! AJ Styles with the control. Kick to the head, bringing him down. Russian leg sleep to the... Leg sleep. Leg sweep to the outside. Nakamura decided he wants to take this back onto the inside. But like I've said, they have yet to fight in WWE, but you're seeing it here live, folks. One-on-one -on -one AJ Styles. And again, this tournament is to determine the number one contain contender. Contender. The number one contender. The number one contender. To Brock Lesnar's world title. Nakamura being the former champ at that. Nakamura is going to want that title back. So you best to believe he's going to want to make it all the way to the end of this tournament. And he has to be bruised. You know, he has to be hurting from, from, from losing to Brock Lesnar. So he has something to prove in this tournament. And he has something. He's going to have to pull it off. He's going to put it all out with AJ Styles. If you're going to come face the phenomenal one, you're going to have to bring your A game. And we know that Nakamura can bring it up. Oh, another slam to the outside. These guys are just slamming each other to the outside. Though this would be great if I had if I had a, a collar commentator. Looking at you. Looking at you, Sean. Nakamura with the taunt. Oh, just straight. Kick to the face of the chest, I want to say. <laughs> Arm drag. With a pin, first pin, and it's too close to the ropes. Oh, it looks like he went for a standing head scissors and then getting power bombed. Oh, with a two count there. That was pretty close. Nakamura with knees to the chest. I mean, to the stomach. It looks like AJ Styles. Oh, comes back with that Pele kick. Welcome, new viewer. As you can see, you're watching Nakamura versus AJ Styles in a tournament to decide who's going to face Brock Lesnar. I mean, oh, phenomenal forearm misses. Couldn't get the range in. Nakamura just basically sidestepped it and said, not today. But basically, Brock Lesnar has the world title. And this tournament's to the side who becomes the number one contender. With the armbar. My boy Killbox helped me, helped me book this tournament. Earlier we saw... Jinder, oh, with the two count? Oh, two count. We saw Jinder Mahal go up against the big dog Roman Reigns and Jinder Mahal just bringing the pain to Roman Reigns. But Roman Reigns somehow at the end spun it around and got the win. Jinder definitely impressed me. But right now Nakamura is bringing the pain to AJ Styles. He looks like he's going to go up to the top turn but will change his mind. AJ Styles with a hellish combination. Well, looks like he's going for that torture rack. Oh, torture rack into a powerbomb. Only gets a two count off of that. We're quickly coming up on the 10 minute mark. And to think that Jinder lasted 20 plus minutes. Again, he did way better. I, I, I keep going back to that match, but I'm shocked. 
I'm shocked that Jinder lasted that long against the big dog. With a bulldog. Shades of Y2J. Oh. A <laughs> kick. Oh, another Pele kick. Both men on the floor trying to regather themselves. Ten minutes another armbar. Shades of Del Rio. What do you think? What do you think of this match so far, Killbox? Backdrop. Looks like Nakamura is gonna try to do some. What is AJ Styles? For? Oh, with a knee drop. With the phenomenal. Does he call it the phenomenal knee drop? Is it phenomenal? Does that have a phenomenal tag on top of it? Because he does it all the time. I don't. Oh, just tosses him outside and taunts. Nakamura has just been taunting this whole match. Oh! With that fireman carry into the knee to the back of the head. I forget what um this guy calls that. That announcer? Yeah, that, that JBL bullied. Oh, devastating back body job. Looked like he landed on the back of his head. But AJ Styles showing that that didn't affect him with a quick roll up pin with the. Oh my god, 2.9. 2.99999999. Oh, goes right back to the armbar. Nakamura is looking to tap AJ Styles. Who knows if he's going to get it? It would be a, quite a shocker to see the phenomenal one tap out. Oh. Exchanging elbows. Who's going to come out on top of this one? And it looks like it's going to be Nakamura with a kick to the face. Super kick. Oh my god. Nakamura with his finisher. I forget what the name is. Two. Oh, 2.9999999999. Oh, AJ Styles with the combination. Drop kick to the back of the head. I thought that I thought AJ was done for. I thought AJ was done for with a running head scissors. Another combination. AJ Styles bringing up his strike game. Yep, Mauro, there you go. Mauro calls the, the, the fireman carry to... Oh, no. Looks like Nakamura's going again. Oh, hits him. Is that going to be enough for AJ Styles? Oh, my God. Only a two count this time. I thought that was going to be it. Yeah, JBL no longer doing commentary. I did like JBL's commentary. All right, I think he's doing the wreck to the power bomb once again. One, two. Only gets a two count on that one. Oh, is he going for the Styles Clash? He's going for it, and he connects. Is it going to be enough? Nope, rope break. Way too close to the rope. Way too close to the rope. Oh, I like Corey. I like Corey Graves. Oh! It looked like a heel kick. Oh, another backdrop just straight to the back of the head. Nakamura is going for the, the Styles Clash once again. This time, me, yep, away from the ropes isn't enough. Two, three. AJ Styles gets the victory over Shinsuke Nakamura. And he's showing it that it's still another 100% another match evaluation. Two, two, match of the, two match of the year candidates in one night. My God, my God. So now it's going to be Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles. That's going to be interesting. And up next, you got Kevin Owens versus Seth Rollins. Man, these guys are fighting hard. Everyone trying to earn that right to be number one contender to face Brock Lesnar. The prize fighter, Kevin Owens. Indeed, going after another prize. He's trying to get that belt. But first he has to go through this man right here. The, the Kingslayer.
All right, let's see. Let's see what happens in this match. Like I said already, we've had two match of the year candidates tonight. You would imagine that the crowd tonight is already... <laughs> what's... <laughs> what? <laughs> that one person in the fan has a sign that just says, it's cool. <laughs> that is such a JBL saying right there. Oh, straight to the corner. It looked like Kevin Owens tried to go for a wild swing there. Couldn't connect the wall. Oh, what is this? Alexa Vision with the with the legs pressed on the back of the head of Kevin Owens. That was that was creative on the part of Seth Rollins. Oh. Ah, oh, Kevin Owens is looks like he's a he's getting a lot thrown at him in the beginning of this match right here swinging neck breaker oh and a snap suplex another swinging neck breaker it looks like Kevin Owens is just oh Seth Rollins missed that drop kick I'm not sure if he just miscalculated or just didn't get that distance right, but it just completely missed. But goes right back on the control, and I just hit my mic by mistake. Oh my god, leg drop. A dragon. I want to say dragon leg whip. Dragon. I forget the name. Oh! Just poked him straight in the eyes. Owens does not shy away from the dirty tactics. We all know that he's... Oh, just as I said that. I'm, comp I'm surprised the ref didn't say anything about it. <laughs> it is... <laughs> all right there, Booker T. Oh. Looking for the pedigree. The pedigree connects. Four minutes in. Oh, this is the Seth Rollins before he received his fake um, knee version of a uh, Rainmaker. Running leg drop. Another leg drop. But goes for the pedigree super early and connects, but it's not enough. And then follows it up with a power bomb. Another leg drop. Oh. Nice kick to the back of the head. Oh, a reverse DDT. Or that's not a good fighter. What, 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 what this thing used to call that? Seth Rollins going up top. Seth Rollins. Whoa, a hangman's neck breaker. I want to call. I want to say the second pedigree. We're only six minutes into this match. Didn't even get a one count. Kevin Owens trying to choke him out here. Seth Rollins is trying to end this. Ooh, that was a spike DDT. Just basically dropped him on the back of the head and followed it up. Wasn't quite... quite I want to say that was a camel clutch. That's like a... What was he doing here? Another power bomb? Another power bomb. Seth Rollins is starting to feel confident. One, two. Oh, two count. I thought that was that was way too close. Wasn't a 2.9999, but I feel like it was a close. The third pedigree. Seven minutes into this match. One, two. Oh my god. Kevin Owens kicking out of three pedigrees. Sent down splash. Oh, try to go, I, I guess, for a power bomb of his own. Goes in for a pin count. Oh, 2.9999999999. Dragon Whip. I want to say that's a Dragon Neg Whip or something. Oh, never mind. I thought it was cutting off the back of my head. Kevin Owens tried to come back there, but as you can see. Oh! Super kick straight to the face of Seth Rollins. And another kick to the head. Kevin Owens may be building some momentum here. Power bomb with intensity, with authority. Oh, 2.99999. And a Russian next week. 
I'm pretty sure Kevin Owens thought he had it right there. Another Russian leg sweep. I'm not sure who delivered it. I want to say it was Kevin Owens. If it, and if it was Kevin Owens, basically returning the favor. He threw him to the corner. I'm not sure what he was trying to follow up with, but Seth Rollins decides that he just wants to... He's trying to fight out of that corner, and he does. Power bomb. These swords just power bombing each other. Did Kevin Owens just get right back up from there? Snap suplex. And it's like, I want to say the bottom is, oh, what the heck just happened? What the? Seth Rollins runs into the corner and takes himself out somehow. I'm not sure what he was thinking there. It looked like he was trying to go for a running attack and didn't realize that the corner was that close. And Seth Rollins wins that exchange. Another Hangman DDT. Or over the head DDT? I mean, uh, neckbreaker. Is that a Hangman neckbreaker? I didn't realize that I didn't know. I thought I thought I knew more moves than I, than I, than I actually know, I guess. Seth Rollins with the sleeper brings him down and follows up with a knee to the face. Brock Splash connects. One, two. Is that all? Oh my god, 2.9999. I thought that was it. <laughs> Throws him to the <laughs> pop up power bomb. The pop up power bomb on Seth Rollins. Two, three. Kevin Owens wins. Kevin Owens wins. It's too bad that viewer missed it. But Kevin Owens wins in a shock victory over Seth Rollins. I'm not actually I'm not quite sure who I thought was gonna win that, but Kevin Owens comes up top, continue to chase that that <laughs> That was a botch. That was a botch of meaning. Kevin Owens wins the match. Defeats Seth Rollins to move on. What a match. 97 gets at 97%. Oh man. All right. So now up next, I'm thinking The Miz versus Kenny Omega. So as far as I'm thinking this is going to be the last match of the night. And then we'll continue this tourney tomorrow. So we're going to have those two matches. And then we're going to have to book something extra. Maybe a, a battle royal between the ladies. Make a women's title or something. But the Miz, the A-lister. He's given the opportunity to main event tonight against Kenny Omega. Coming from New Japan Wrestling. And of course the leader of the Bullet Club. The cleaner himself. Kenny Omega. Indeed. And he did get that W. Fight. Now these two these two men are gonna try to have to one up the performances we've seen tonight. Brings him down with the with the leg trip. Kenny Omega. Oh my god, another another uh, leg drag trip. Leg trip, leg drag, trip, 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 trip. Oh, that sounded like that sounded like the Miz electrocuted his face. That was weird. Oh, again with the elect electric <laughs> electric arm drag. I mean electric uh, eye rake. Maybe we'll have a color commentator. There has to be a way for us to set that up. Oh, I actually may know how. Um, if we do on Hangouts and I share the screen. Do you know what I mean? Because then you'll be seeing it in real time with me. And Omega with the suplex. Bringing down the Miz. Get out of here, Fly. Yeah, I'm thinking we can do that. If we get on Hangouts, I share the screen. Oh, wait, I, want, I don't know if you hear the sound.
Omega. Basically thwarting whatever the Miz was trying to go for right there. They're going punch for kick. You know, it's strange that you see the Miz throwing a lot of kicks now. It's almost like he's, he's trying to uh, continuously rub it in Daniel Bryan's face by stealing his moveset. And a nice chop. If these fans knew better, they would woo. Road of... What? Road of King? What are these signs? Pump up. Elbow to the back of the head. Oh! Looked like Kenny Omega was trying to go for like a powerbomb maybe, but... The Miz decided he wasn't having it. Reverse with a back, with a back drop, and then the drop kick to the legs, bringing down Omega. I forget what this one's called. I'm a terrible play-by-play -play call. Oh, damn, I used to know this. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look up things. I used to know a hell of a. Oh my god! With a back drop into the corner, this is dangerous. It close into the corner. Oh my god! Who knows if the misses head brush that, brush the corner. The Miz with a pin. Only gets a one count in there. Oh. Kick to the back of the head. And then follows it up with a drop kick to the body, it looked like. The tie up. Whoa, what was that? It looked like a Famouser type, like a one armed pedigree Famouser situation. You see these sides? Oh, falling! The fallen angel! The fallen angel in the Miz! Gets the three count, Kenny Omega! And the shortest match of the night upsetting the Miz here in the main event! I did not even think that was gonna 71% match evaluation. I didn't even think that was gonna like that was gonna end like that. Probably, maybe. But there you have it. So it looks on the next card, it's going to be Roman Reigns versus Shizuke Nakamura. And Roman Reigns just, God, surviving. I never thought I would say this, but surviving Jinder Mahal. Uh, he moves up. He's going to face Shinsuke Nakamura. I mean, I'm sorry, not Shinsuke Nakamura. AJ Styles. How could I forget? AJ Styles, the phenomenal one. Then we're going to have Kevin Owens going up against Kenny Omega. And of course, the rest of the card to be announced. I'm thinking it's going to be two more matches announced on the card. We'll see what happens. But for now, I'm going to save this. Um, can I buy? Save. Finish? Wait, the process is going the way. Save your crowd. Save your progress if you wish to continue later. Yeah, I did. Okay. So. Like, we can come back to it. Okay. Continue. Gotcha. All right. So, I'm going to end the stream real quick. I might stream something else. But I want to talk to my boy Killbox about some things. But that was good. I feel like that was pretty good. The main event there was a little lackluster compared to the rest of the card. Maybe we should have shaped the the tournament a little different maybe started off with the Omega and the Miz match uh, but the card proved to be pretty good so far and if I would have known I was just going to do the first round in this um, I guess I would have uh, done it that way but regardless of this is the first hell of a first round and again this is all to determine who's going to face Brock Lesnar for the world title as you see it right here oh no I don't mean to go. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I clicked title. But this is the right to face Brock Lesnar. The second champion. As I said, Nakamura being the first champion in this uh, stream championship, whatever I'm called. I don't even know. But that's it for right now. 
catch you guys maybe in a bit maybe i don't know